This is a photo of a teacher in protest. Dwayne Reed is a Chicago public school teacher. When the district ordered teachers back to school, he spent days teaching outside of the school in freezing temperatures because he doesn't think inside teaching is safe. That's despite the message from Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Our schools are safe. Um, we've invested over $100 million um, in ventilation, other safety protocols, making sure that we have masks, um, safety health screening, um, temperature checks, all the things that you would expect. One thing they don't have, high vaccination rates among teachers. That's one of the main sticking points between the nation's third largest school district and its teachers union. The dueling groups have been butting heads about the best way to reopen schools during a pandemic. Things reached a boiling point Monday when Mayor Lightfoot threatened to lock teachers out of their virtual classroom if they refused to return to in-person learning. That almost led to a strike. For teachers like Reed, ensuring a safe environment is only half of the battle. He tweeted, COVID has hit our black and brown communities the hardest, so we can't use equity as a means of sending them back into schools during a pandemic. Trust is an issue for CPS with communities of color. Joining me now to discuss is Chicago public school teacher, Dwayne Reed. Dwayne, why do you say the school still isn't safe for you to return? What do you think needs to be put into place before you walk back into the building? Yeah, I think for, thank you for having me on the show. I think for um, a number of people, access to uh, the vaccine and being able to have both doses before they, they step foot back into the school. Um, I think there's been a lot of issue with ventilation. You know, a lot of the Chicago public school buildings are really, really old. Um, and even pre-COVID, um, there were issues with the ventilation. We can't just open a window and hope that everything, you know, goes all right. Um, so those are just some of the uh, immediate issues that I think of that make you feel, you know, can make one feel unsafe. And, you know, as we know, kids oftentimes can create a situation where it feels like, yo, we're in a Petri dish. Um, if anybody's been around kids before. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of times I, I definitely want to just, you know, be mindful of the fact that, yo, it might not be the safest right now. I mean, the CDC is saying that schools can safely reopen without vaccinating teachers. But I'm like, who's going to be the first on the line to volunteer to go back into a maybe not well ventilated building without a vaccine? Does that alleviate any of the concerns for you to have the CDC saying that? Uh, no, it doesn't. Because, again, you know, myself and other teachers are on the ground or in the classrooms. Um, you know, the, the kids, they, they'll run up to you and they want to hug you and they'll forget that, OK, I probably shouldn't cough on the next person right there. So the CDC can say certain things, but there are things that I see in person and thousands of other teachers see in person that, you know, sometimes just don't line up. And that 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 can be troubling. Yeah, it seems to me that uh, you can't especially smaller children. I find it funny when they think that they're going to keep their masks on and socially distance when they're like seven. I, I, I find that uh, funny when people say that with a straight face. I'm like, have you ever met a kid? Uh, black students <laughs> in Chicago uh, and the district's purport, uh, predominantly black teachers overwhelmingly voted against in-person learning, which is, I think, an important fact to note because it's black teachers who are saying we don't want to go in um, without it being 100 percent safe or at least close to 100% safe, to the point you made in your tweet, is that because of lack of trust in CPS uh, that they are doing all the things that are necessary to make sure that you are safe? Yeah, so it wasn't just the black teachers that are saying, um, you know, we don't want to go back until it's safe. It's even the families and the caretakers of our scholars who are overwhelmingly saying, no, our scholars are going to remain remote. We don't want them going back into the buildings. Um, but yeah, trust is an issue. Look, I love my job. I, I love the people that I work with. I love my school district. Um, I feel like they try to do what they can to make things work. But oftentimes, CPS has made promises that they haven't delivered on. And, you know, that would cause anyone to have mistrust towards um, those other people. There's been a lot of reporting about the mental health toll the pandemic has had on kids. Have you seen any of that from your students? You not only have the fact that we're in a pandemic, which is life or death, it's very anxiety inducing. You have them losing potentially parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles, members of the community, and then they don't get to see their friends. So what, what toll is it taking on your students? Yeah, I definitely think that it's taking a great 
great toll on my scholars. I asked a question this morning, would you rather go to the future or to the past? And one of my scholars said, I would rather go to the past so that I could bring back my family members who passed away due to COVID. And so it's definitely impacting them greatly and all of us greatly. Um, but I think being able to log in and see their teacher, being able to log in and interact with their peers is something that they love and they appreciate. And, you know, kids aren't, you know, kids, kids get it. They understand that things aren't as normal as they need to be. So I think for the most part, they're OK um, or they're fighting to be OK every single day. That's what I'm seeing in my classroom. Absolutely. I want to play a video that shows off a bit of your teaching style. Let's take a look at that. Welcome to the fourth grade. So happy to meet you. Can't wait till I see you. Gonna have a good time. We'll learn. You're someone who's clearly dedicated to engaging mm -hmm. your students. I, I wish I had students that made everything a song. I would have remembered a lot more about science. Has it been hard for you to be away from your students? Um, it's definitely been hard for me to be away from my scholars. Um, you know, I'm a big proponent of the idea of hashtag relationships matter. Everything is about the relationship. You know, it's a hug, it's a high five, it's a handshake. Maybe it's just not nah, it feels like people all up in your space. That's perfectly okay. Um, and sometimes it's hard to communicate that through a computer screen. And it's hard for scholars to pick up on that. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. So, you know, I feel like my, myself and my colleagues and all of the teachers in CPS, we've done what it takes to really reach our kids at a heart and health level. Um, and we're going to keep doing that. It's been hard, but we're going to make it through. The Chicago Teacher Union warned its members to prepare for the possibility of a strike. So obviously, uh, with so many teachers resistant and reluctant to go back in without being vaccinated, um, there, these tensions are here and it, it, it's sort of all coming to fore. Are you optimistic the union and the district will reach an agreement to avoid that? Oh, I'm very optimistic. Um, I, I, I know that our union is going to bat for us. They are, you know, putting in work, busting their tails. Um, and I, I hope that um, reasonable outcomes will take place. Um, but however the, the union want to ride, I'm down to ride with the union. You know what I'm saying? Again, I've got a pregnant home, a pregnant wife at home that I have to look after and I have to care for. And if that means that I have to work from outside of the building, do my job from outside of the building, you know, until the end of the school year, then that's what I have to do in order to protect me and mine. And I love that the union is protecting theirs, um, their teachers. I hear that. Uh, Dwayne Reed, thank you for being here and congratulations uh, on uh, almost becoming a dad. This is really exciting uh, news and I, I love good news in the pandemic. Any good news, we want to hear it. Thank you for being here. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.